Hello, shalom, God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. There is a word that dropped in my spirit today that I want to discuss. The word said, growing extreme long relationship with your spouse, with your ordained spouse. Growing extreme long relationship. Relationship that is going to last thing, kingdom come. Thing God said yes, it is time. In your old age, you have to put God first. You have to put God first. When you set God at the front of it, there are a lot of things that is not going to happen in that marriage. Even though those things happen, you are going to see that because you have set God before you, because you have put God first, you are going to see God's grace and his love is going to walk through that home. Growing extreme relationship with your spouse has to do with the humbleness of God. Accepting that yes, this is what God has assigned me to do. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and shall obtain favor. Man, love your wife. Woman, submit unto your own husband. You are going to be doing it as if you are doing it unto God. That is what the Bible says. And whatever you do, do it unto God. So growing extreme long relationship with your spouse has to do with God's love. When your real love is no longer working, God's love has to step in. If you have God's love in your home, there are some certain things that are not supposed to happen. Because you know why? The Holy Spirit will be always there to direct you. When you are taking some things extreme, when you are taking some things over, the Holy Spirit is going to be there to help you. But the moment you say, God, you step aside. I'm going to do it. My waist will do it. My buttocks will do it. My, my beauty will do it. That time you are telling God to step out. And by strength shall no more prevail. Child of God, when you set God at it, when you put God at the front of it, let God let it, let God lead and see everything working. Don't believe people that say everywhere is bad marriage. No. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. When you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in that marriage, child of God. As from today, if you see things are going wrong, today just say, Holy Spirit, help me. And humble yourself enough to hear and hear to the direction of the Holy Spirit. And see things turning around for your good in that marriage. I declare and I prophesy upon your marriage today that I'll be shaking, that I'll be passing through some storm, that I'm passing through some, some troubles. But today marks the end of it. If you have been enduring that marriage as from today, you start enjoying it because everything is turning around for your good and to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.